Hey guys, it's Mr. Blend Mods and I'm um, again a small update on some art that I, I did um today and as you can see I finished the naked model of the character and I'm working already of uh, on some new clothing and I already rigged it and made three simple animations um gonna show this real quick so here's just a run cycle still a work in, in progress not really happy at the moment with the but yeah it's enough for a placeholder um, and even the hair looks pretty awkward here but in the engine it looks fine even in the render it doesn't look that awkward so yeah here, here it's like looking true but like I said it's fine in the engine and that's the important part uh, I even made since the last uh, I showed you already the the sculpt, uh, but it was work in progress. So I show you some some detail I added to the other stuff. Um, here is just the clothing I I sculpted. And here's some shoes I sculpted. Converse to be precise of course we won't call it converse in the game since it's copyright but just the shape of it and um, let me save this then I textured it in and uh, ZBrush the character, so I used some. Here it looks very awkward, but yeah, I used some project painting. But here is the actual sculpt. So, as you can see, I added a lot of stuff. I even had the idea to make some. Uh, asymmetric um, detail like the pants are and sy sy symmetric some small scratches scars on, on the skin like some wrinkles in the skin on the ear even here I used asymmetric stuff and some body hair it's not symmetric but it's not very visible because first it was symmetric but yeah even made a small scar here pretty pretty low resolution because yeah wasn't that high subdivided but in third person it doesn't matter that much since from here it looks pretty fine So I think that's all the detail I added after, since the last update. So yeah, this is the naked character model. And I can show you this in, uh, in Blender. even has a specular map so the eyes are more shiny and there's some detail on the specular of the skin even the, the plaster is not so shiny like the blood is more shiny a bit but it's not very visible now so yeah I used specular maps and Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, the detail of 
the sculpt that came in. It's it's pretty good visible and makes a lot, I think. I mean, if you look at it without, it's really doing a big difference on realism. At least to me. Even the specker. Here you can see some more detail, but yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm working, I'm gonna work now on uh, a body part. So, this is how far I came till now. And let me even show you the other animations. I made a, a blink animation, so this is just only keyframes on the eyes, how he's blinking. So we can make this through script that is randomized just all the time with some uh, space between his blinking. So yeah, that's why there's only one blink now. So I, w I don't have to make it like in the run a blink and like that we can just randomize it over the whole game pretty much. I'm not so happy how the facial rig came out but it would have needed some much more optimizing. First I had even lips and and eyebrows and stuff but it didn't look very good so I decided to only make the the eyes and yeah so there's only I can move now separate eye or both and I can move eyelids yeah and otherwise there's nothing really special about the, the rig so now the other animations uh, I made a pretty long idle. I'm happy with the first part of the idle, but the second part is, is very ugly. I it, I don't really know what I tried there, so... Here is like scratching some shit from his nails, and this here is very awkward. He's like <laughs> just crunching his hand, but looks very strange, so... And really have to redo this and I'm pretty happy with the first part it doesn't look too bad with how he's doing the fingers so and since I have eye rig now it even looks pretty cool when he's moving his eyes even though he looks pretty um no gesture he's like I don't know, doesn't look too good, but I don't know if I'm gonna fix it one day. Maybe a bit later I make a new one, but for now it's definitely enough. So, yeah, so this was just a small update on uh, the character, and there's now a, a crosshair in the game. The accuracy is changing so um as soon he comes online I guess I'm gonna send him the player and then we can really start um, remaking the game because now there's still everything the old models in it. So yeah. And we made now that if you hold aim and control you're gonna be able to move only only the arms, so you won't have to rotate like that. So if you hold control, you can like shoot here, shoot here. But he's working on it. He's not sure yet how he's gonna do it. There's only working that he's moving the cursor at the moment, but I'm sure he's gonna get it to work. So yeah. So this was the new update of after the end and. At the moment I have some weird clothing box, like, wait, here, 
you see like through the model I don't know why it works with the naked part wait and not with the with the cloth I have no idea why it's not working here it's perfect but maybe it is because I I first white painted it when everything was together and I just thought about making it now the cloth over the body parts but it's gonna be very hard like that the models doesn't uh, the naked skin doesn't look true and everything so it's gonna be very hard but I guess there's no way around it at the moment so pretty much have to do it so yeah thanks for watching